Okay, here's an attempt to reproduce a programming bug. Start with program program one. Okay, it's for lithium ion now. Uh, I want it to be a discharge routine for nickel metal hydride. No capacity, no charge. Uh, discharge current 250MA. Uh, see resting allowed. D resting. Not sure what that means. New cycles. Uh, should be a target voltage. <coughs> Cut voltage, okay. Uh, I'm doing this for an alkaline, so when it um, call point time. Actually, I will do a de reduce. Uh, tell me when it can't hold 100 milliamps. No time. Okay, save to. Here's where I had the difficulties. Saved it to 29 last time. Or saved it to 30 last time. Let's try saving it to 29. Long press. Save to 29. Alright, so that didn't tell it to use 29. Uh, there we go. That's correct, discharge. So let me use it, because I think that's what I did before. I used it once and then had a problem trying to do it a second time. Let's stick an alkaline in there. And let's see, to start it, I think it's long press on this. Or press this. I believe I used long press. Check voltage. Okay, so now I want to stop just that. I think long press on this will stop just that slot. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Oh, so see it's on program 01. That's not what I told it to be. Program 29. Program 29. Start. Start. Okay, so that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. Okay, this is pretty confusing. Um, so this is program 29. This is what I want to run. And then program selection. Okay, so run it. No, obviously that's not right. Uh, short press. Backs out the program selection. So it doesn't look like there's any way to get it to start from here. Let's back out. Okay, now it's going to program 1 there instead of program 29. I want program 29. Long press. Okay, using 29. I'm not sure why that wasn't working in the previous screen. I'll hold this down and that should start. Okay, good. That was a lot of work to get one program going. So, that's correct. Okay, so 
say I was using this just to test the alkaline. It's at 1.23, that's fine. I want to... I can either finish the program here, or a long press here would stop it. And to go back would be after. So I want to go ahead and stop it. So that stopped it. The slot's now ready. Okay, um, so I want to check program 29, see what it is now. Try on slot 2. Um, program 29 still discharged, both of them are. So I've not reproduced the bug. But let's see, back out of here, okay. 29 is assigned there. What does it take to run program 29 on slot 2? Um, slot programming view. I don't want to program, I just want to select. I believe holding down this does not run 29. I need to long press this to get it using 29. And then I could either long press this to start just slot 2 or short press here and that starts everything. These are still running, have been for a while. So that's correct. Instead of finishing this or stopping the slot, let's try finishing the slot. And this should require a long press in firmware 1.12. This is firmware 1.11. So green light, it's, it's finished but not stopped. I want to go to total overview screen. Stop. Yes. Program slot 2 finished, not stopped. Now to stop slot 2 so I could do something else with it, I would have to long press this would do all of them. Long press this, stop just slot 2. Okay. So is the program still good? Program 29 still assigned there. So it seems like a program is assigned to a slot no matter what I edit here, only if I long press here. If I want 30 on there, I have to select it and long press using 30. Whereas I might expect that if I select a different program and then say start with the long press, that it would use what's displayed, but that's not the case. In fact, there doesn't seem to be any way to start slot 1 from slot programming view. Long press using and then could start it with either a short press here or a long press there. Okay, so didn't reproduce the bug if there was one, but maybe this video will do something to show people ways of navigating this screen. Okay.